Genre, expository text. Essential question. What are features of different animal habitats? A Tree Full of Life by Susan Evento. Chapter 1. Eucalyptus Forests. Page Chapter 1. Eucalyptus Forests. A tree stands tall in the heart of a forest. It is one of many eucalyptus. U, ka, lip, tus. Trees in many eucalyptus forests in Australia. This giant tree is a habitat or home to lots of animals. They depend on the eucalyptus to meet their needs. Map labels. Indian Ocean, Australia, Tasmania, Coral Sea. Key, green area, equals eucalyptus forests. Caption, the continent of Australia has many eucalyptus forests. Eucalyptus trees may be extremely tall. Some eucalyptus trees can climb above 300 feet. This tree has been standing for many years. Its mighty trunk has sticky bark that hangs like string. Its leaves smell sweet and spicy. Its flowers and fruit do, too. Caption. Although eucalyptus leaves are sweet, they are also poisonous. Chapter 2. Food for Animals. It is a warm summer night and the sky is bright with stars. A hungry koala bear sits up high in the branches of this tree. It spends hours chewing the tree's leaves. It takes a long time to eat an entire pound of them. The leaves have water, but they aren't very nutritious. The koala needs to eat a lot of leaves to get the vitamins it needs. Did you know? Koala bears are not bears. They are marsupials, animals with pouches. Koala bears smell like cough drops because of the sweet leaves they eat. Koala bears have been known to jump from tree to tree. Caption. After the koala chews the eucalyptus leaves into a mush, its stomach can break down their poisons. The tired koala finally falls asleep. It sleeps wedged between branches with the baby koala resting peacefully in its arms. The koala bear sleeps through most of the day. In fact, it may not wake up for 18 hours. Caption. The mother koala snuggles with the baby, or joey. The koala finally awakes and climbs down the tree. It doesn't go on a journey. It moves to the next eucalyptus tree that smells good. The eucalyptus tree has everything the koala will need for a while. It gives food and water. It also gives shelter, which is a place to sleep. The koala climbs up high in the branches of the new tree. It chews the tasty leaves. Now it has found a new resting place, where it will stay for a while. Caption. The koala isn't on the ground much, because it isn't safe from other animals, such as dingoes. The koala is not the only animal that depends on the eucalyptus tree for food. Other animals eat different parts of the tree. For example, thousands of termites are buried within the bark. They are chewing away at the tree's hard covering. At last, they are full. They have eaten away parts of the trunk and branches. Caption. These tiny termites have strong mouth parts for eating wood. The eucalyptus bark provides food for the termites. But that is not the only thing the bark is good for. The termites chew the bark a lot, which turns it into a paste. Then the hungry termites eat the paste. They also use it to build nests. The paste is like a strong glue that holds the nest together. Termite babies will live in these nests. Caption. 
Termite nests are sometimes built in the shape of a mound. Chapter 3 Shelter for Animals Now the termites have chewed holes in this tree. These empty spaces make wonderful nests for other animals. Ha, 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 ha. This funny sound comes from a kookaburra. Kook, a, bur, ra, bird. This bird peeks out of its nest and spies an enemy below. Then it quickly drops back inside. It will be safe hiding inside the tree. Caption. Because of its unusual sound, the kookaburra is called the laughing bird. Next, a sugar glider flies toward the eucalyptus tree. Like the koala, it depends on the tree for food. The sugar glider stops to eat the tree's sweet sap. Then it enters its nest. It joins its babies for a rest. Caption Sugar gliders enjoy a nest in a hollow made by termites. The common ringtail possum hangs from a branch. It hangs by its hairless tail. It depends on the eucalyptus tree for food and shelter. It eats the leaves and flowers of this tree. The possum collects bark and grass. These materials are used to line its nest. Like the koala, it is busy at night. Caption. A wombat crawls along the forest floor. It eats eucalyptus leaves and roots it finds on the ground. It does this for hours each night. Then it escapes into its underground tunnel. Much like the koala, the wombat sleeps away the day. Caption. Wombats can run fast and dive into hidden tunnels when enemies chase them. Chapter 4 Tree of Life It grows dark. The fruit bats become restless. They fly to the eucalyptus tree to eat its pollen and fruit. They fly from tree to tree. In this way, they spread pollen. This helps new eucalyptus trees grow. Plants and animals work together in nature. Caption Most of the fruit bats in Australia are called gray-headed flying foxes. It is not just animals who depend on the life-giving eucalyptus tree. Plants live in this tree too. It provides food as well as shelter. This mistletoe plant lives far up in its highest branches. It eats the sap of the eucalyptus tree. Mistletoe birds then eat the fruit of the plant. The eucalyptus tree is full of life. Caption. This drooping mistletoe plant provides food for both the mistletoe bird and a butterfly. 